Welcome back to another Star Stable video. Today, we have some brand new spoilers for what is coming up next in Yorvik. And I literally mean next up in Yorvik is basically the thing we're looking at. So there are actually some pretty, I mean, there is actually some pretty exciting stuff. I will say that. So the first thing that Star Stable said we are going to be getting, and this is going to be released February 7th. So again, Star Stable kind of posts them, you know, like one week in advance so next week we are actually getting we are going to be getting unicorns of hollow woods tynan and phoebe has arrived have arrived with their companions head out into the hollow woods to play some hide and seek oh did i really just miss that anyways to play some hide and seek and nanny is looking for her so they are actually npc girl what is that but they are actually NPC horses, meaning you'll actually be able to interact with them and also be able to buy them. So they are both NPCs and also viable horses, if that makes sense. Here is what they look like on screen. Like, honestly, I have to say it, they are not my favorite. Just like knowing they're going to be so expensive for magical horses, like probably 900 star quins, 950 star quins, but probably 900 and or even no. Wait, no, what is the Pasofino model? You know what, since we're here, we might as well go check. I think it's, I think it's 900. I'm done with that race. I'm just, no. Okay, let's see. It's 950. If the, the magical horses are going to be 950 and oh, I just, I don't really like them. I do not really like them. They, they're spray painted. They're literally spray painted. Like, you know, the horses don't have anything 3D about them, the flowers, the horn is real, but the things on the horn is spray painted because I know one has leaves on the horn that's spray painted. Like, they are spray painted and like, ugh, I just, they're not my favorite at all. Let me know what your opinions on them in the comments down below, honestly, because I am interested. But I feel like we have too many Pasofinos. Like, there are so many more models that I would love to see just a magical horse of. And we're just getting more Pasofinos, so it's like, um, okay, we already did that, but thank you. And yeah, that's, that's basically what we're getting, just two new magical horses. But some good news, the magical horses are going to be released alongside a few few little like quests that we can also do with the horses so it's kind of good in that aspect that there's more to do than just by the horses but yeah they're basically like i'm not even kidding their backstory is literally twilight sparkle one of them the black unicorn yeah that <laughs> that's literally i don't know who wrote that backstory but i'm telling you that is literally twilight like i'm not even that was insane reading that i was yeah kind of disappointed anyways moving on february 14th so next next update we are getting improvements in user experience an alternative dr to drag and drop is now here you can now press e to interact with things that require a quest item from your backpack updated look on our race screens to match our new ui style we are making a few daily races available to do more than once per day on all horses for rewards yes star stable is finally adding this girl i was wondering when they were going to they said that and i actually forgot about it now races are going to be available multiple times a day for all horses that you own so like you could do it once on one horse and then go back and do it again on a different horse and so on through all of your horses basically so that is super exciting new ui style honestly i love the ui updates like i don't know why it's just exciting to see what star stable is changing what the style is going to look like i don't know i'm kind of excited for this update like a little ui change yes sign me up but the race screen is going to be different i don't know what they mean by race race screen maybe when you're starting a race the like three to one or maybe like the maybe the little like west thing oh my gosh they added so many npc horses like why are these random npcs walking around like we don't need that okay that is kind of exciting i thought though we can already press e to interact with things like that was an update already i'm that was literally an update already i can confirm it because it reminded me so much of roblox and i just went into my settings and turned that off but i didn't realize star stable took it away i thought that was already an update to like interact with things 
Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but E was E. That was that was already there. So I guess hey, we're getting that back. If Star Stable took it away, I did not notice. But press E to interact with things that require a quest item from your backpack. So they're just adding more things that E interacts with. All right. Next, and probably one of the more exciting updates of this month, I know a lot of you are looking forward to it, Lunging is back permanently in Star Stable, which is going to be released February 21st. Variation in training is key, and Steve has heard you really enjoyed lunging your horses last summer. He has the perfect round paddock that he will let you use for lunging. Girl, I literally pointed out this paddock last video. Oh my goodness, what are the chances? But we are, I know exactly the paddock he's talking about. If you go to Steve's, there is literally a round paddock right there. That is going to be the first permanent lunging paddock in Star Stable. And by permanent, that means you can do this race whenever you want. It is a brand new style of daily training. And you'll be able to train your horses with the mini game lunging now, which is super cool. Here's a little video of like what lunging is. Maybe Star Stable refined it, you know, like changed a couple things back to that if that makes sense because you know they already added that in game and they might have changed a few things but here's what they have currently daily training yes not pictures <laughs> next on february 28th we have more lunging the round paddocks at starshine ranch and the baroness's racetrack are available for lunging time can go slow sometimes starting today we will give you the power to make it go faster in some quests you can interact with a mini game when a loading bar appears and continue your quest immediately. What's a loading bar? Is that the stay the night thing? You can continue your quest immediately with a mini game. So if anyone can explain that, please let me know. I'm guessing it's the day blocker, but I, I don't know what else. Would what is a loading bar? When a loading bar appears, win it. In some quests, you can interact with a mini game. And you can continue i think it's the stay the night feature and that would make it go on i'd be even happier if they're talking about reputation so you don't have to do it and you just do a mini game i still need to do the fort maria like the fort maria stuff uh, okay well we'll get to that eventually and there's a supposedly a paddock at the baroness's racetrack that is going to be used for lunging as well i know the one at um starshine is going to be the one from the little western camp but what is the one there i want to see it so it says baroness's racetrack i'm excited because we only have a few races at the baroness's racetrack and honestly if they made that a home stable it is so pretty over there i would make it my home stable i love the baroness's racetrack like it is so aesthetic. I mean, just look at this. A little, like, horse statue that reminds me of the Sims. Yes! Okay, what else? Where is the paddock, like, around? It's this one. It is this one. Oh my gosh, with the castle in the background. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so aesthetic. So we're gonna get lunging here. So the Starshine Ranch paddock, this paddock, and the Steve's paddock. Those are gonna be the three permanent lunging paddocks so far. Again, Star Stable's probably gonna add more, and I'm guessing since they're doing lunging this, this month, we're probably going to be getting dressage next month, but that is just my theory. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below, and of course, which updates you are most excited for. As always, I hope you have a great day, and again, tomorrow or the day after, I'm announcing the free 10,000 star coin code gi giveaway winner alongside all the giveaway winners. I have one 500 I didn't announce yet, so I need to do that. So stay tuned and yeah, bye-bye.